Washington. No, not DC. The other one in the Pacific Northwest. That's it. Washington, home to the Space Needle, Windows 95, and expensive coffee, has had a long and storied history. It was first touched by European boots in 1775 by Spanish Captain Bon Bruno de Heseta. But the Spanish had preemptively laid claim to the area centuries prior in the 1494 Treaty of Tordesillas, which carved up the new world between Portugal and Spain's crown of Castile. For a while, this land grab went undisputed, even when Captain James Cook landed in Washington just a few years later. However, by 1789, several British and American fur traders arrived in the area and started to stir up questions about who was true sovereign of the area. This resulted in the arresting of British crews by the Spanish and nearly led to war. But tensions were calmed through a series of conventions that ended Spain's exclusive claims and allowed other nations the right to settle, opening it up to Britain and the US. Lewis and Clark reached Washington in 1805, and shortly thereafter, the U.S. and Britain agreed to share occupancy for many decades. In 1846, boundaries were finalized, and a separate territory would be declared in 1853, creating the area which would become a state just 36 years later. The original proposed name for the territory, the Territory of Columbia, was dismissed as it would be confused for Washington District of Columbia. So instead, they opted for Washington. Truly, no confusion to be had there. Getting elected president is an expensive business. Campaign costs add up. There are advertisements to make, travel expenses, convention costs, even bumper stickers. But where does all this money come from?